Greetings and welcome back to more Brothers in Arms for part two of the finale. seen all this. Why are you repeating it? Good boy. So I took a nap. Oh, I'm all refreshed. Baker, do everything. God, boss. Okay, so we gotta go run out here. Wow, and the first Nazi who runs around the corner at me instantly kills me. Fair. He doesn't know I'm running around. He just heard her. America. I hate Americans. Yeah, I basically have to solo run this. And this is not fun. Nor is it fair. Slightest. So we pretty much gotta have to use stealth this. It's all with your machine guns. Yeah. 
tank still chasing me. No! Screw you, buddy. Screw you, buddy! There's the Shermans. Help! Get him! Sherman angry, Sherman smash. Guys, I'm gonna beat the heck. Ooh, I have two Shermans. Okay, I desperately need some more STG ammo. Is there some up here? Please. Yes, thank you. Hello. Hello. About time somebody showed up. I can't find F Company. It's a mess out there. We got all your radio relays, just couldn't find you guys. Hop on, Sergeant. Lead the way. Well, I don't have enough health to go all Rambo, You're so you me. guys just follow me. Stay with me. We're gonna go pop some tanks. Give me some armor over there. Whoa! Come on, get over there! That way, full speed! Heavy fire on that armor! Put some fire on that armor! Go get him. You know, a Panzer 4D is going to murk a Sherman. Get on, boys. Okay, look, you. Move over there. I need you over there. Unload on them. Suppress that armor. Tank fight. Yo. Shoot straight, you freaking douchebags! That gun'll blow right through that mess. Boom! 
Seriously? How can you guys not shoot this thing? It's right freaking in front of you. Impressed yet? Okay, Sarge. All I'm saying is I wasn't scared. Even when those 20 or so Krauts came charging across the field, I wasn't really counting. Well, except the number of those bastards I dropped. Lucky for them, you can't count very high. Yeah, I was pretty fucking scared. Hell of a thing we did today. Gotta wonder what waits for men like us when we get back home. Uh, this war just started. You got another year of this crap, and you got, uh, what is it? Um, the Ardennes, Bastogne, um, got Operation Market Garden. Shall we continue? Well, we defended Carentan. There's rumors coming down the pipe that the squad's gonna be split up after we leave Carentan. Hell, Corian even thinks we're going home. Wrong again, Sam. A few other guys have been talking about getting a farm or some land, some peace and quiet. God, not me. Last thing I want to do is live out my days alone after the shit I've seen. Well, it's not time for goodbyes yet. Not by a long shot. Why in the hell did you bring back that busted piece of crap? Not sure. Seemed like the right thing to do. What are you gonna do? Bury it? I might. Knock off the chatter and fall in! Now I'm not one for speeches, so I'll make this short. First, there's a Colonel Marshall here to interview some of you for General Eisenhower. Don't screw that up! Second, I've been in the army a long time, and in some pretty good units. But in all that time, well, I just want to say you guys did good. We lost some good men. But at the same time, we sent a message to Hitler and his boys that we're coming for him. That his days are numbered. Now I've got a promotion to make. Sergeant Hartsock, front and center. Second squad needs a new leader, and the responsibility is now yours. So on these stripes, or I'll cite you for being out of uniform. Sergeant Baker! You know this isn't over, right? Hell of a thing we've been through these last eight days. Welcome to the end of the beginning. Grab your gear, troopers! We've still got a war to fight! Third squad, you heard the man. Move out! Oh, can't animate his mouth. What the frig?
Uh, you don't really move out during artillery fire. You more or less take cover. But whatever. Anyways, guys. Wait, what? Huh? No, we're done. Oh, we're done. Anyways. That was Brothers in Arms Road to Hill 30. There's Randy Pitchford. That's the man. As much as I love Gearbox back during this time when they started making these amazingly innovative and fun and well put together and choreographed games, it seems like they've lost a little bit of that soul along the way. And we'll get to the, the point where it happens. And I hate it. I hate it so much that it happens. But we'll, we'll discuss it when we get there. But I love this game. This game opened my eyes to new things. This was actually the first World War II game I actually really fell in love with. I mean, I've played some others. I've played Wolfenstein. You know, I played, uh... I didn't play Call of Duty this time. I played Medal of Honor, you know. Some of the ones I went, eh, you know, those are fine. But this is the one that really opened my eyes to how war is fought, how soldiers interact. It's so well done. So well done. You know, and, and you know, you're fighting the, the Germans, you're fighting, but, you know, you're fighting the Nazis. Coming for Hitler. Ah, zah. The whole part of the days of World War II. It was there was no gray area. There was good and evil. I mean, the only gray area, area was the Soviet Union, but they weren't really bad. They weren't really doing anything bad to the other parts of the world. They were just tearing themselves apart. But, you know, the enemy, my enemy is my friend. That's what Stalin was. But this, this was the game that really got me into World War II stuff, and maybe the World War II buff that I am now. <laughs> I freaking love this game. As much as I was getting ticked off, and screaming, and I still have fun because I was like, it's a puzzle. Like I said, it's like a puzzle. And I've lost my patience over the years. And I was doing more screaming at this game than I think I probably did before because I was like, huh, well, how do I do this? And I started to figure it out. It takes a while, but I started to figure it out. And you can see where I was like, okay, well, that didn't work. Let's try it this way. That didn't work. Let's try it this way. But the graphics are amazing in this game. They're still not bad. Uh, see, I played this on the Xbox, and this is, of course, a higher def, uh, resolution, but the Xbox version was really very close to this. Oh, the music! God dang! You think I just got done watching the Saving Private Ryan or something? But this game has the brutality of war, you know, the Brothers in Arms whole thing, which is part of the game, but. Just a really, really solid title. I think I played through the whole thing and then I looked up reviews of the game and I went, holy crap, yeah, this game does deserve like the nines and stuff that it's getting. <laughs> but we will jump straight into the next game. Uh, I may do a couple little bit videos in between. Because, um, of course, I gotta get the next game put together. And... Screw you, Leggett! You got Alan and Garnett killed. Actually, we don't really know exactly what happens there, but we do kind of get some more insight in it in the, uh, the last game in the series here. They're supposed to be making another one, but they keep fiddle-farting around with it. They were doing Brothers in Arms Furious 4, and everybody just went, No! So they didn't cancel it, but it's been in development for so long, it doesn't even matter. So anyways, we got some extras we can look at. Um, History of the 101st. You know, there's little things, U.S. Department stuff. Um, Colonel John Antle uh, was the war advisor that, or military advisor that they got with on this, and he's really cool. I've got a couple of his books and everything, and they're they're pretty cool. Now I could get the authentic stuff, but eh. Let's see. There is one. that he had here that's really freaking funny. It's either in this game or it's in the next one. 
Because a lot of the World War II games at this time, and even afterwards, ran it where you couldn't reload the M1 Garand. And there's actually a little video of him like going, here's how I can show you how you you can reload an M1 Garand. There's a little button on the bottom of the gun. He pops out the mag and he goes, see, you, detect, you open up the chamber, you hit the button, and the mag just, the clip just shot right out into his hand. He goes, there, see, I popped it out. Now I can put it right back in. And he loaded it up and was like, there it goes. <laughs> but you get little uh, uh, snippets about different guns and stuff from uh, being an authentic. Wait, Brothers Arms screenplay? Oh, that must be the uh, like a storyboard. Stug tank! Oh, I hate the Stugs! Irritating thing ever built. Oh, and a thing on the Sherman. Oh, Fallschirmjägers. Now look, guys, I'm going to talk about this. because The German parachute infantry, or Fallschirmjägers, were the best equipped and most highly motivated light infantry oh my in the God. German army. That's who we were fighting against? Oh, okay, now I know why I was getting my butt handed to me. The German 6th Parachute Regiment and the 3rd Parachute Division fought in the Normandy battles. These German paratroopers, like their American counterparts, were all volunteers. They had more modern rifles and a higher allocation of machine guns, anti-tank weapons, and mortars than regular infantry. And they also got a gun that wasn't in this game. The Fallschirmjägers proved highly effective in the defensive actions they fought against American infantrymen in Normandy, and were fierce opponents. Yeah, they're like my favorite World War II soldier unit. Let me see if there's something on here. I wonder if this is it. No. Colonel Cole. This is Medal of Honor citation. Dude's freaking awesome. You can say, go look up Colonel Cole. Dude is amazing. I wonder if it's in this game or it's the next one. Panzer Mark IV. Yeah, well, that was a Panzer IV D. It's a piece of crap. Well, it's not bad. It's just the later ones are so much better. Oh, the 1903 Springfield sniper rifle. But there's even something here. Yeah, unlike authentic difficulty. Now, see, this is back when games actually had something. Unlock the Super Squad cheat. I mean, it's probably invincibility or something. I never got it. I don't care. But here's something I like to look at. It. It's before and after. And here's the same hedgerow. And this is actually Hill 30. They had a reverse slope defense, which gave them ample defense, because you can see the silhouettes of the soldiers coming over the hill against the backdrop of the sky, and they could just pick them right off. They reverse slope defense. They television documentary. That they were filming for this. And there's a, the railroad bridge where we got the uh, tanks. And there it is. Alright guys, that's going to be all for this. So catch us on the next one. When we go and do Earn the Blood will be next. Like I said, I may do a couple little piddly videos. We'll see what's going on. But uh, for the most part, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. Later.